Hello everyone and welcome back to my Tech vs Magic series. Today... Today we're going to jump down this hole. And start working on our final mining machine. This machine is going to be a branch miner. And what it's going to do is to dig some tunnels. We're going to have it going that way. So we'll dig out a chunk of tunnels, uh, too high, and then we'll move up to dig some more tunnels, so forth, and whatever the rest of that phrase is that I can't think of right now. So on and so forth, yeah, that's it. So it will dig all those tunnels out. Then it will wait for me to come down here and mine out anything that needs silk touched. Then it's going to go back to the beginning and then just finish digging out the bottom part. So let's get started on the tunnel arms first. We want to... So we're going to need to make a little bit of room here. Ideally, I want this to be somewhat independent of the quarry, but primarily they're designed to work together. I would like it if they could go in separate ways, but it's not 100% necessary. Actually, that would make... Well, I guess the quarry does have a failsafe and it doesn't run into the stuff. So yeah, that could work. Um, okay, right, we were doing the arms. So, too high, and then we'll want block breakers, and then we're going to have, since we can't put covers on with, uh, deployers, except for the bottom slot, you can't, we will have to manually build each arm and then put the covers on. We can't be using deployers for that. So, play over here. So that's going to be a bit expensive in terms of these frames, but we need covers over everything. It's going to be a little bit difficult for some of these. Right there. And I'm going to do that, make all 16 of these. We'll have covers on every part, and then we need to figure out how to hook these up to the actual moving frame. But yeah, let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, that took a while, and a lot of wood. On the side here you can see I have hollow covers that will allow the tubes and the redstone part to connect between them but are not allowed the frames to connect so that these can move independently of each other. Now then those can go down. Now then we have a difficult part. Well, several more difficult parts, I should say. First thing, we need to connect all of these to the upper platform. Some of these, or at least one of these, is going to have to have hollow covers on top as well. Maybe even all of them. But the most important thing is going to be the need to connect these to the motors. And how we're going to do that is going to be very, very difficult. I've come up with a couple of different things that almost work, but not quite. 
since all these have to be covered with covers, except for the very last one, it makes the last one a potential point where we could connect to, but the problem with that is, is if we have this something able to connect to and we move it this way, or well, the only way we could connect to it is having a deployer and block breaker combo, which we would need like here and above it. So something like one there, one there. And when this moved, whatever was here would be pulled with it. And that would not work. And it can't be bigger than 16 or it won't fit down the quarry hole. Um, another option is to connect them up front with the block breakers. How would we do that? You can't deploy covers on frame except for downward on the bottom. And to do that, the deployer has to be directly above the frame facing down. So could we do something with that? We had that and a deployer. Hmm, the problem is we need frame motors here and here. I think. Could have one last good one. Yes, because that would break one more, so we could get away with frame motors here and here. Or, we could make the shorter one, and have the connection on the very ends. Though that might get caught on stuff. So maybe having the connection up here is better. Very ends and above. Right there. Have that have a deployer up here and a block breaker here. A line of block breakers. Oh wait, we would need the tubes to come out. So it'd have the block breaker above and the deployer on this side. And that would still fit, except for here it would run into trouble with connecting. Of course, that's the same up here as well, isn't it? Hmm. Let me think on this for a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I think I have something that might work. Uh, I put down the frame motors for each of these arms, I guess they're called. Should be called. This one faces this way, and the back one faces this way. So how we're going to solve this problem is, first off, I've moved this part, this arm here, down one. So now it's connected to the bottom of these two. That way we don't have to worry about it connecting to the top of the tunnel that it digs. Now, given that... I'm also going to uh, decrease the width of this by at least two. I'm aiming for eight. So to here, to there, since we're going to move over, have to move over anyway, might as well split it so that we uh, save the extra resources. It's going to be a little bit slower, <clears throat> um, but seems to be the best option because then. We don't have to be up against either wall when we're going down. And we can set up the... What? Uh, anchor. To connect this part to the rest of the machine. So what we'll do... 
is we'll have one set of four here. We're going to have the deployers like this. Um, we should change that to be a these actually crap um the chances of stuff going in there are low but the chances of getting triggered are high i guess i'll have to do okay and that means that we want the other set Let's see we're going to have Those will deploy a set of these. <clears throat> There'll be one that's always there. Yeah. And we'll have another set deployed here. Like that. <clears throat> okay, so then above those, yeah, we'll have some redstone tubes. And this will connect to these two. So that they are actually connected. Something like that will probably that might be a problem. Do do. I'm not sure. Um, we'll try it out and see if we need to change it or not. Okay, then we'll have, yeah, we'll need some panels here. Panel, 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 panel. And the block breakers are going to go right there. Facing down, obviously. And I'll do the other side of camera. Now then, right here, we'll have... First off, we're going to have some... Yeah, redstone tube frames. Go along like that. Over here, too. And we'll have some normal tube frames. Go along on top of these. That way the uh, stuff will go out and into these without being triggered at the same time. <clears throat> but to power this, so we'll just stick these here. Okay, we'll need some of this jacketed stuff. So we'll put those something like along there. <clears throat> and probably. Another set of redstone tube frames above them. Yeah, so that they can all be powered easily. 
<clears throat> okay. That's going to fix some of our problems, at least with getting this connected, but not all of them. Let's actually go ahead and place these. Okay, that's not actually connected. How would we do that? Hmm. Can't put it there. Okay, now I'm stuck. Uh, let me think about this a little bit more. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll put that there. Grab this. Put a cover on the bottom. Um, let's just cover this up for a second. Now there's a cover up bottom of that. And then we'll put another frame there. And that'll allow that to connect to the rest of this stuff without causing any problems. And this should be fairly easy to connect to other wiring. Connect it here and along this line for the deployers and block breakers. We just need to actually check to make sure that the uh, frames will go in the right deployer. So let's do that. Okay, you have one. So that'll work without any further fanciness. Now then we have one we need to get these connected. Probably we'll have to use this one. Because it's the farthest back. Uh, we need to get them connected to some kind of tube piping thing. And we also need to get all the frame motors connected. The frame motors are going to be in groups. We want to leave two between each. Um, the word I'm looking for is tunnel. So we're going to have like a tunnel going there, two spades, and a tunnel going here. And then on the net, once we move up two more, we'll alternate that. So if this one's here and there, then the, above that it'll be here and here instead. And then we'll have the third set, which will be when we, after we finish manually digging out all the stuff that we need to silk, st silk touch and everything. We'll have the whole machine finish mining out the area. Which I think it can do. Okay. So yeah, let me do these groups. With some that to keep them from connecting. So it's just going to be like this, and above this we'll have the actual wiring part. Then I guess we'll just have some kind of tube frame, like right here. Well, with a panel or something on that. And that will probably have a chest here somewhere too. Whatever chest we're going to use. Ender chest. And the power for that will come down through here too. That will power all the block breakers and also control the getting stuff out of all the block breakers. So let me do that and I will be right back. Okay. We still have some problems. 
I've got that done. Once we have these anchored, and we have to move over all the way against this wall, against this wall, I should say, this frame right here is going to connect to that, so that when we move back over, we're going to have a block pulled with us. So we need to get rid of that block after we move over one. Or probably move over two. So to do that, we're going to put a... <clears throat> I'm going to see. We'll put a... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Put it here or here. We will put it here. No, that's not good. We will put it here then. Put that there. Put a block breaker here. Hmm, that could cause problems with the thing. What if put that there? Would still cause problems. Could we put a cover here? I think we can. There. That should still be connected to that frame, I believe. Even though it doesn't look like it. So then we'll need one frame motor to pull it out. One to pull it back in. That's to pull it back in. That's to push it out. So something like that. And we'll make this one a one of these thingies. Let's see, then we just need to anchor these two and anchor this. Do that simply by putting a frame there. Now we would need this and this. This needs a hollow frame cover on the bottom, as does that, and that, and that. This, these two need covers on the bottom. Let's do that. Just to keep them from sticking to that. But then it should still be able to move when, it's, when the whole machine is moving, because the anchors will be there. And we'll have the same over here, but for that side, of course. And we'll also have to power these and all that crap. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's test to see if these actually work. We're going to have the power right there, and the line coming down there, I think. At least that's the current plan. So, let's see, you would be out, and let's give you something to break, right there, okay, so push that out, then the next thing we would do is trigger the plot breakers, which Okay, we don't have anywhere to go right now, then we would pull it back in, okay that seems to work fine, and I'm not sure where that is going to go, okay there it went, 
Okay, so that should be the anchor system. All completed except for just wiring it up. Now then, we need to do this. First thing to get power to this, I'm going to have to put that there to keep it from connecting to that right there. When it pulls through, then we're going to need some blue alloy wire, which we don't have on us right now. But we'll put. Let's see. Get some more of these panels going. There's our red panels. Put some panels here. We'll have bat box, possibly multiple bat boxes there. Then we'll have a wire here and all those will power everything. Let's go get the wire actually. And then we can work on the red alloy wire for the arms, digging arms. I think we're good for now. Yeah, that'll just come under that. Oops, not like that, but like that. And that should power everything. Let's break these since we don't need them to be powered right now. Okay, that's going to drain that pretty quickly. I'm gonna have to swap that out with the Another one we could actually have a whole row of bat boxes here. That might actually be what we do. Because one is not going to be enough, definitely. We'll have to figure out how we do the power first before we decide on that. Okay. That is going to be that part. See, that bat box is completely drained. These other two here for now. Okay, right. So where were we? We were powering this. So there'll be a tube frame here. The other ones are going to be normal frames. Then the same thing here. What we'll do is we'll have panels along here. And along here. And bundle cable running along top of these. I think. That might not actually work. We need one more space. That way. Then we can have bundle cable running on top of these. And have all the various jackety cable, the red alloy wire, and the colored wire. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay. So you can see there's jacketed cable separated by covers connected to red alloy wire then connected to the various colors of wire. So the first group is the white and orange group and there's three of those with a gap of two between. Then there's the magenta and light group light blue group again a gap of two then the white and a lime group and the uh, bundle cables connect together right here the pink down here is going to be for the block breakers probably put the chest like right there or something 
one of these. Mm, then that bar comes over here, and the cyan and purple are for the little outriggers, I guess, whatever you want to call them. On both sides. Then light gray and gray controls the anchor and an anchor thing. The set of deployers and block breakers. Unfortunately, that means we only have five colors of wire left. So that means that the engines are going to have to be um, a different color of bundle cable, which means we're going to need two IO expanders, which is a pain. And for powering these, I'm going to put that box there and a solar panel on top of it, just to make things easier on myself, instead of trying to run a wire there. Do the same thing here. These won't need a great deal of power. We're providing it quite a lot more than it needs, but... This is the simplest way. Uh, we can't have the solar panel right here because this would move and it would pop off. Because this gets moved with that arm. Um, so the last thing is, well the last couple of things is the engine, the movement engine, and the computer control area. So I've come up with a different design for the computer, th or for the engines that I have been using. Uh, I haven't mentioned this, but the there was a bug with our strip miner. Some kind of rendering bug. I can't even get there to look at the machine or it crashes the game. So I'm not quite sure what happened with that. But it's been an annoyance. So given that I'm going to have to somehow figure out how to break the machine without looking at it and rebuild it, I decided to come up with a different engine design. First thing is we need something like this. Okay, there goes an engine here and an engine here, our frame motor. Then we have, that goes in, that goes in, and we have the same above it. Okay. Let's see, okay, we need to have that one. Okay, so that will power that and is that correct? Yes, that'll power that and that. Then right. Here we have the second one, which powers that and that, and right. Oops. Let's see. And there's a frame here to hold that engine, and a couple of frames here, and bat boxes here and here. So you have, actually, this is supposed to be a so tip frame. And this can be a panel as well. And do do, like that. And this is a little bit better than 
the previous thing in one respect. You can just send a long pulse and it will move. So let's get something that's powered. Um, bad thing is you have to have two motors because these won't transfer power between each other. So let's see, we will put, which one's the easiest? Okay, yeah. Do that one. Does that get powered? Is it on? Okay, it's on. And that one. So if we were to... Oops. Take... We have the two wire connections right here. Then we just send a long pulse. And it will move instead of having to send two separate pulses. And that makes things a little bit more convenient. But if you have frames here or here, you need a cover on the bottom of these to keep those from getting stuck. But other than that, it works pretty well. Um, so I'm going to build something of that nature. Oops, we have moved this arm. So I gotta do the other one and move back the other way. But I can do that. Right, so I'll fix that. And we're going to try to fit this in right here somehow, maybe, possibly. But that's going to be the different designs. We'll have the three different directions. And let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay. So this way, or this section here is going this way. Then we have this section here to go this way. And this is the up and down section. So we can put that boxes there. There for these two to share. Then here. And here. And on top of these, we can put some solar panels. We can do the same there as well. We don't have another solar panel right now. Then we just need to put, and that to hold the solar panels on. Then let's see, we got to figure out how to wire this. I think it's something like we need something there, and something there. Yes, so we'll need to put some covers on this one. Matter crap. That's there. Okay, and now then for the panels. That's going to go something like this. If I remember right. Then it's going to be one here. Something there. And something somewhere over here. So let me finish wiring this up and I will be right back. Okay, let's finish this part. So Mark goes through like this, and white here goes down. So let's see, that should be a panel. Goes down, connects to that, then the orange, right there. Then magenta, right here. Connecting to that direction. Light to blue. 
and let's see lime prevented from connecting over here by that so lime will need a block there and yellow that's going to be the six directions still need to come up with a good way to connect this to other stuff like suppose we could do that here get rid of that and we can come out here and connect it to a computer or over here Or I suppose we could run it right along top here. That would probably be best. If we did it. Oops. Back. Well. Right along here and connect it somewhere over here. That should be plenty of room for a computer. Get the power going. We can put... Well, no, we can't. We'll have two solar panels there. Um, we can actually yeah, get rid of this one and put another solar panel here. And down here, if we put a frame here, we can continue pillaring down with our bat boxes to get something that goes here and have a line of bat boxes there that's going to be one of the more demanding power things so there we'll need frame frame to hold the one that goes there, and then we can just have a straight column. Hopefully, we have enough bat boxes for that. It's going to take a little while for these to charge up, too. But uh, let me go get the computer components, and then we should be finished with this episode. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I added a little platform here for more solar panels. I haven't got them made yet, but I will eventually. Some finished putting the block breakers there. Back here is where we're going to have the computer. So there's Okay, that was weird. I'm not sure if that's actually still there or not. But there's that one and this one. That means, let's see, if we put that there and that there, okay, it wasn't still there. there. These cannot be connected, so we need to make sure we have a cover between them. And we can put that there. Hmm, I'm not sure that'll actually work, but we may need to have a thing there. Okay, let's get these. And if we go That, 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 and that. And then we can just put computer thing here. And yes, like this. So we'll need that there. We'll need CPU. That'll hook up to those 
goes to... Though it is kind of bad that we can't see... ...the things... ...if we... ...did it like... ...that, we would be able to, so maybe we'll do it that way. Then we need... Back pain, RAM, Oops. monitor, and not like that, but this drive and a place for us to stand. not get pushed around while this is moving. Something like that. That way when this is moving around we shouldn't have any troubles. Unless there's nothing back there. Um, just put some covers on these ends here. And that should be that. And get rid of that extra part, since we're not going to be using it. And wait for this to charge, and next episode we can do the programming. Hopefully it's not too terrible. also need to set the IDs of this, which I have to switch to a different jar to do. But that's going to be it for this episode. Like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.